So we're in Monkey Village right now. Oh! Oh! Man, I, this not not okay. Oh, look at all these monkeys. Hello. arrived in Lowbury about two hours north of Bangkok and uh, this is known for its old temples and hordes and hordes of monkeys we were just attacked trying to find a parking space and the monkey tried to steal parts of our car <laughs> uh, but we're gonna attempt filming them and uh, see if they try to steal our camera. If they do, we're gonna cut our trip short, but they seem to be quite the rowdy bunch, so Let's see what we can find. All right, so we're coming up on this temple here. Old, old, old style. Historic. Ancient city too, Chai. His name is Kanalai. Kanalai is the king. Kanalai. Kanalai. Oh. Which king was this? King. Number four. My before number one. Oh, before oh, number one. Two. Oh, King Zero. But these are um, some ancient buildings I've got around here. These are before Thailand was Thailand, Chai. So this was built by Khmer people. Or just... Okay, we shall read. It's about the same era as Angkor Wat. Maybe after, because I see brick. We can go over here and read. Very old buildings, but not, not too old. Let's see. This was built. Yes, it's Khmer B. Khmer. Khmer art during 18, 822. To oh, chai oh, chai. Oh, this is determined by the archaeological style. Oh, Prang Tat or Prakao, a type of Khmer art. What you say? That what eight? It's like the uh, we have three eight to be Thailand. Three ages, chai. Okay. Thai. This is that the fourth age. First age, before they are a country. And then they go to war, the Khmer, and they form Thailand. Mm -hmm. And through the war, then they form Cambodia. Chai Mai? Chai. So yeah, this whole, this whole region used to be just one happy group of people. Now it's two happy groups of people. Starting to get into monkey territory here. Many this is where they attacked our car. People here are not happy with the monkey. Oh. Monkey. Baby. Cute. This one is cute. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is the uh, this is where we first started to park because we saw all the monkeys and this nice gentleman here scared away the monkeys and took back our car park. They tore the the rubber off the roof. We were only parked there for a second, so we decided to park down the street. But look at all these monkeys in the street. I don't want to walk too close to them because A, they already attacked us. And B, they like shiny things like cameras, so we're just gonna try to keep a distance. When we got a single monkey over here like this, it's all right. <laughs> he seems pretty friendly. But yeah, they've completely taken over this shop. <laughs> and they live in these old temples that are in the center of this city. The city is called what again? Lopuri. Lopuri. Buri means city. This is this is old Khmer. This 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 looks older than the other building. This looks this looks like Angkor Wat era. So we'll see what kind of trouble we can get in here. But this is a very very old ancient soy mat. See if we can find a plaque around here to tell us how old this temple is and see if I am correct that it's Angkor Wat age. Maybe still a little newer, but this looks like it was built after, and this is the original structure over yeah. here. Only there. Only you can there? see the, the craftsmanship is much, much higher. It's like the black stone. Chai. They use. The old, old style, Chuck. Oh, whole family. Hello. Sub ID. I make them angry. And then they add this, this very new. It's not new, but like they... They add, they, add, they yeah. um, fix, restore. Oh, little baby! Be careful! <laughs> <laughs> See, the stick is meant to uh, keep them away, but they like to just come up and grab it. You want a stick? You want a stick? Hi! <laughs> <laughs> they scared. They know what the stick is. I see many Falang let the monkey sit oh sit on the shoulder. Chai. But my So this is a new home for these monkeys. They've actually probably been here since the construction. Oh, but the monkey cannot go in. Oh, try. They can live all around, but not inside. Try. They keep it nice.
<laughs> oh. Little babies. Little monkeys. Oh. <laughs> ah. bit of action down here. He had the red butt. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Lots of fighting going on. Okay, let's go inside this ancient temple here. Close the door behind us. very old. They added these steel plates to keep these rocks from shifting. But this is all old construction. Oh, bat, bat, bat. Batman. Many, whoa, whoa. Whoa. And this is very common too in these old style temples when Hinduism came to Thailand. Thieves or Hindus had cut off the heads of these Buddha. You can see many, many of these in Angkor Wat where the heads have been removed because this temple has been. Buddhist, then Hindu, then Buddhist, then Hindu. It's been the ever-long struggle between the two. But you can see most of the heads are carved after and uh, makes it easier for thieves to steal. The what? Buddha heads can go for many baht. Million baht. Million more or more chai. Why they only cut? Head, because the statue is so heavy that it, they it's, cannot take all mm, they can take just the head and the head is worth more more money too so what is this for this old pillar stone pillar that that would go up and support the above but they have added wood oh, as support oh, instead bat. many bats oh try many bat Bats and monkeys, bats and monkeys. <laughs> but this is a really cool uh, piece of history here. Like a thousand years old. Or more. And this is an old, My old pillar too as well. Pillar stay. This pillar would go up and support the roof here. But this wood was done, I'd say, probably recently. Re way more recent than the actual temple itself. Really cool. So, Prang Sam Yod is next to Prakarn Shrine, which is where we just went. 
This was built in, it says the 18th century Buddhism. King Narai the Great, because the doors and windows were bent into the shape of a curb, and this is a particularly architectural style of this period. So it would be around the 18th Buddhist century. They absolutely just take over this whole street. Now everything take over by monkey. Monkey take all. There's more monkeys than people. <laughs> and there are a lot of people. They move, try to move. They even hang out with their monkey. They think this is their mom. <laughs> they hang out with their monkey mom. That's a statue. Oh, oh. And this looks like a new, new Thai temple. Crossing the street in Thailand is a lot like Frogger. You just gotta kind of just go. Oh, I missed it. Could have went. Where are we going, beautiful? This way. We get some fruit and nuts to feed the uh, the monkeys. Some Thai ice cream. Do you want? No. Okay. Wat Nakon Kosa. This is also another ancient little temple in here in this city. Same time period as the last temple we just looked at. 18th century, so that'd be 13th century according to Gregorian calendars. This temple is 800 years old. So it's going to be a little bit newer than the, the other one. The other one was about 900 years old. Or their best estimation. They didn't have an exact time period. Of course, we didn't know much about a thousand years ago. So, But you can see this is completely taken over by nature. So this has been here quite a long time to have trees and dirt and grass and everything growing on the structure itself. 
means that this has been here for a long time. Even the little statues. These statues of Buddha have even had their heads removed. And in some cases the entire body, but let's go ahead and fix that. These, of course, are just trinkets, but we always leave a place better than we came it came to it, right? See clearly by the markings on these bricks that they were these were made in a factory and later restored to what was already here. So they matched they matched it pretty well, but you can see clearly the stamp marks. So we'll head across these train tracks. And we'll see if we can find some more ancient monuments like this. I think this was the third and last one. A really cool piece of history for Thailand. So hot. Run, Mark. Run. So they put these pins on the electrical wire so that monkeys can't climb from the roof. But it seems this monkey was smart enough to figure it out. So that's where he hangs out. Along with many of his other friends. Monkey is just living everywhere. everywhere. He hangs on something like electricity line. Chai? Hello, maybe they get someone give them. Mm -hmm. So they can just drink like normal. Look at that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I don't want to steal. It's all you. So we're headed to Supenbury now. On the way back to Ratchaburi. Then we're going to get some lunch. The, uh, the palace was too expensive. The noodle. Special mm. noodle. It is right? Special noodle that they they sell on the boat long time ago. Put Ayutthaya is noodle city. Chai noodle city. Hmm, must be famous for their noodles, huh? Chai. It not look like clean soup, but it look uh, black soup. Many flavors. Chai, aloy ma. I want to eat because here is like original. Mm. Okay, we try. We try. Uh, 